The purpose of this video is to show you how to sign up for Gradescope and to get enrolled into our particular section's uh, Gradescope course. Now the purpose of Gradescope is really pretty simple. It's a way for me to uh, allow you to submit your, uh, your activities, your uh, lab reports, um, while still being able to use the existing lab manual. So what's going to happen in lab is you are going to uh, fill out the notebook pages or you're going to do a simulation, you're going to do some kind of activity offline, and then you're going to upload the activity into Gradescope online. Now there are a couple of quirks about Gradescope that we'll talk about a little bit later, but as far as signing up is concerned, it's really pretty simple. If you do not have a Gradescope account already, then you're going to sign up. If you do have one for another reason, you'll just log in. So if you go to sign up, you're going to sign up as a student. It's going to drop in to this menu and ask you for a entry, a course entry code. Now, if you already have a Gradescope account, uh, when you log in, all that you'll need to do is add a new course and put in the grade the entry code here. So this this code will be posted in the announcements on your on your uh, uh, Blackboard page. Uh, this happens to be the code for Chem 103 Lab uh, for my section. Uh, there is a different code for Chem 120. I'll put that one up there as well. And then you just want to put in your name. and your email address and uh, now this is not my email address this is a, a fake one uh, but I'm, hopefully it'll show us how to to go to the next step um, soon ID here you do not need to fill in in fact I encourage you not to um, we're not hooking this into Blackboard or anything like that, so the student ID isn't going to actually do anything for us. It's just going to make things more complicated, and it's going to put your ID out there in another source that you really don't want it out there for. So uh, we can leave that blank. We hit sign up as a student, and that's where it'll show up. So what you'll do is you'll put in your email address there obviously it'll send you an email at this address to give you a link uh, so check your email from there click on the link in the email and it'll uh, prompt you to make a password so that you can complete your account and so the next video I'll post will be uh, looking at how to actually submit things into Gradescope but this should at least get you in the door have a good day